when you look into the uh, parable of ten virgins, you will notice that there are five wise and five foolish virgins. They all had lamps, but five foolish ones didn't have any oil to begin with. They had lamps just like the wise virgins, but no oil. In other words, also, those so-called Christians who say that they believe, they may appear to be Christians and have all the uh, formalities of being Christians, they have no Holy Ghost in them. They would say that because they have the lamps, therefore they have the oil. They think that because they say that they believe, they think that therefore they have the Holy Ghost, which is, in a way, blaspheming the Holy Ghost. Just because the foolish virgins have the lamp doesn't mean they have the oil. In fact, what Christ said in the parable is quite clear. They are foolish exactly because they just have the lamps without any oil in them. They all have lamps. In other words, they have all the formalities. They all are virgins, and they all have lamps. But the foolish ones, no matter how much they are virgins, no matter how many lamps they have, there was no oil. It's the same these days. They espouse Christianity. They say they believe in Jesus. They acquired things such as theologies and doctrines to be Christians. But there is no Holy Ghost in them. One foolish virgin like Jack Smack 77, he goes even further dogging on true sons of God, saying believing means you have the Holy Ghost. It's like saying just because those foolish virgins have the lamps, therefore they have the oil. Even Jesus distinguished uh, believing and having the Holy Ghost. In John 16, his disciples believed on him, but they didn't have the Holy Ghost, and that Christ said, It is expedient for you that I go away, for if I I go not away, the Comforter, meaning the Holy Ghost, will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. They had Jesus with them, but not in them yet. Likewise in John seven thirty nine. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, said should receive, meaning uh, haven't arrived yet, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. These are quite different events, one saying believing and receiving the Holy Ghost are not the same nor simultaneous. So, as in like in Acts 2, 1 to 13, um, the Holy Spirit came at Pentecost. They were all believers. But did they have any Holy Ghost just because they believed? No. The Holy Spirit didn't come before the Pentecost. Likewise, in John 3, Nicodemus didn't have the Holy Ghost, even though he believed. Likewise, in Acts 19, 2, they haven't even heard of the Holy Ghost, even though they believed. Even in Luke eleven thirteen, Jesus command, uh, commanded the believers to, to ask God for the Holy Ghost. I mean... There are so many examples and cases where the Holy Ghost comes after one believes, 
and that believing and having the Holy Ghost are not the same event, nor do they mean synonymous. If they mean the same, it's like saying the foolish virgins have the oil because they have the lamps. Why are they foolish? They are not foolish because they are virgins. They are not foolish because they have the lamps. They are foolish because they think the oil comes with the lamp. Because they do not have the dishonor of all truth, therefore, they make all kinds of crop up, rendering themselves saved with their self-righteousness when they are nothing but empty vessels.